Morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is May the 3rd. Can you believe it? Wednesday morning. I have a nice hot cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of First Peter, the book of First Peter and chapter 3. And we would certainly encourage you to join us there. Follow along with us as we will be reading that in just a moment. And let's go ahead. Let's get our bad dad joke out of the way. And we start out with how do you get a baby alien to sleep? How do you get a baby alien to sleep? You rock it. Okay, we will put that aside. And again, good morning to you. It is going to be an amazing morning. And we're looking forward to enjoying it from the very get-go. And I hope you are as well. I hope you're going to have a super Super day today as we get started. It is Wednesday morning. Today I have the glorious privilege of meeting with my congregation as we meet together for prayer meeting at 7 o'clock. And by the way, if you are in our area and, well, I'm not going to say if you have time, I would say make time. And uh, we would encourage you to join us um, at church tonight, First Baptist Church of Prudenville. And it's just a glorious, glorious time together. We laugh together. We pray together. We study together. We And um, just it's everything we intend it to be as a church family. And so um, if you have the time or make time and join us for uh, prayer meeting tonight. And... Again, we are in 1 Peter chapter 3. Please open up your copy of the Word of God. It is approaching that 9 o'clock hour, and so we're going to go ahead, bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Father, as we come into your presence, we are grateful for a brand new day. And Lord, today, Today, as your people, we pray that we would strive to be faithful to you in all that we say, do, and think. Father, today, you know the opportunities that we may run into. You know the joys and the blessings that are going to come. Father, you know the challenges that will be there. And Father, help us to meet each one in a godly fashion. Father, it's not so much that we would ask you to bless our agendas and our efforts to further the comfort of this life. But Father, we do pray that you would bless our efforts as we strive to do your will and to do your work. Father, as we come into your presence, we do ask today, that through your word that you would bless us, encourage us, help us to be everything that we're intended to be for your honor and glory. Father, we thank you for the glorious privilege of being co-laborers together with Christ, that you have included us in this great work of redemption as you have commissioned us to take the, wor the word to a lost and dying world. And Father, that hearing, they too may know what it's like to have their sins forgiven. Father, again, we ask your blessing upon each and every person who joins us. We pray for your very best in their lives. We pray that they would see your hand at work in and through them as you continue this process of sanctification and making us holy. And Lord, we pray that you would indeed bless this day as we embark upon it. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you that throughout this day, whatever it holds, you'll be with us. Father, thank you for our dear friends and family that join us through Coffee with Pastor each and every day. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. First Peter, chapter 3. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, 
they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Whose adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of, pla of plating the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel. But let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. After this manner in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in God, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no vile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And, he, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience that, whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a-preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. The like figure whereunto even baptism doth now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers made subject unto him. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Beloved, it's going to be a super, super day today. Temperatures are supposed to rise. We've got a cup of coffee here to enjoy in the morning. And beloved, as we try to tell you each and every day, again, focus on today. Don't worry about tomorrow yet. Don't worry about the next day. Focus on today. Be faithful to God in all that he says, all that he requires of us. Be faithful. And beloved, never allow yourself to become the excuse by which another might turn away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. As I mentioned, it's going to be a great day. Remember, God loves you, and so do we. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.